When I first started in early childhood, it was because there was some federal money available to start the Head Start program. Anna Jo Garcia Haynes provided visionary leadership to help improve the lives of children in Colorado. Haynes spearheaded bringing the Head Start program to Denver. She founded and serves as President Emeritus of Mile High Montessori Early Learning Centers, Denver's oldest and largest provider of subsidized quality early childhood care and education, serving low-income children and families. One of the things that came from the Head Start program was to help parents know that they had a voice and they could speak up. Their voice said, we want a Head Start. We want to be able to go to work. We want to be able to take care of our own children. We quickly gathered everybody to come together and say, okay, we're gonna make sure that we can provide childcare. And that in fact happened. It was the beginning of childcare in a fairly large way for the first time. After we got Head Start going in the way we did, they began to talk to business leaders across the country and uh, pulling business leaders together here in Denver. So Pat Hamill stepped forward. People were, were interested in saying, what can we do about this? And you know, how can we get going? Pat is founder and chief executive officer of Oakwood Homes, LLC. Mr. Hamill founded the Build Strong Foundation, which focuses on early childhood education, along with workforce development. My initial impressions about Pat was that I, I think I never saw him without a smile and his sparkling eyes. I mean, it was like, I'm anxious to know what you have to say. And we got to talking and he said, well, what do you do, you know? And I said to him, well, I work with the youngest learners. And he said, well, I'm interested in education across the board. And he said, but I want to know a little bit more about the younger learners. He said, I don't, I don't think I know that much about that. And he said, so how can you help me to learn more? and uh, be a part of what you're doing. It sounds so interesting and so important. And it, it made me feel so good that here was a businessman who was building homes and doing all these wonderful things, saying to me, I'm really interested in this. I'm interested in the future, and the children are the future. From there, I then asked him if he could, would serve on some committees that were uh, pushing early childhood forward, and he said yes. And so some time elapsed, and along came uh, Governor Ritter. And Governor Ritter then said, well, I'd like to appoint you to be on our Early Childhood Leadership Commission and help us push this forward. And I was the co-chair of that commission, so I really got to know him better then and realized what an incredible leader he was. So he moved forward, you know, I think people thought I was persuasive but bossy, and they thought he was smart and innovative. <laughs> so together, we kind of moved it forward, and it was a group made up of all of the governor's cabinet people and people from the legislature. I know Pat is the kind of person who has strong feelings for taking what you know and and finding a way to partner with somebody because when you work together with people, you always get a better product. And he was just adamant about that. What he's done is just be a, a genuine leader who deeply believes in the good education of young children. Beside that, their parents can go to work. And he took time to find out how much money early childhood produces in the economy and further how much it keeps kids from going backwards in school and how that saves money. The EPIC Award serves to recognize very significant and long-term commitments to early childhood care and education in Colorado. Pat Hamill is a founding member of EPIC and has aggressively advocated for and significantly invested in early childhood care and education for many years. The EPIC Board is proud to recognize Pat with its highest individual award this year. Please join us in honoring our 2021 EPIC Award recipient, Pat Hamill, for his outstanding contributions to Colorado's children and communities.